Hey, good Monday morning, everybody. It's Chief Meteorologist Brad Penovich. What a relief from the heat and humidity. The cold front now to our south, giving us some much needed relief from the humidity in particular, but also the heat. Small problem, if you're on the coast, next couple of days, especially Tuesday, Wednesday, we're gonna see some periods of very heavy rain. Let me show you the current surface map because we've got the radar, satellite, and the fronts on here. So we've got this cold front here, and you probably have felt it. If you've been outside this morning, the temperatures are nice and pleasant. In fact, the current temperature in many locations, only in the 70s right now here in the Carolinas. I'm gonna stop it right here. You see the 70s, that's great. But to me, the best part about all this the dew points, look at these dew points, generally in the 50s. And again, when dew points are in the 50s, especially in the summer, that feels amazing. So really dry air in place. But here's the big caveat. And there's a big caveat here. In this case, a big but. This front is going to stall right here where it is, kind of somewhere on the coast. When it stalls on the coast, we're going to see a series of low pressure systems track along it, especially later tonight into the day on Wednesday and that's going to prompt waves of heavy rain. So you can see one of those low pressure systems back here in Texas, uh, Louisiana, kind of that uh, Arklatex region, that's going to be pushing to the northeast and that's going to provide some active weather, especially along the coast. Now, I'm going to quickly show you the upper level pattern because when we're under a heat wave, we typically see what we're seeing out west, big ridge of high pressure. You see it, it's a, actually a mountain of air. On the east coast, we've got a trough of low pressure or a valley of air. That's a cooler air mass for sure. And because we're on the edge of another high, which is typically over Bermuda, the storms kind of ride this pattern. So we're going to see them kind of move up and then move along the coast. And that's going to provide some wet weather. You see that trough kind of sitting over us for the next couple of days. So this week, the temperatures are actually really, really nice for most of the week. Um, until we get to the weekend, then things start to flatten back out and we'll get back to more typical weather. And just real quickly, I wanted to show you some of the rainfall amounts. This is over the next 24 hours, 48 hours, 72 hours, 96 hours, five days. Look at some of these totals along the coast. That's in the nine to 10 inch range. So let's go back to here and I'll kind of show you how this all unfolds. All right, so let's look how this thing unfolds. So basically, just envision we've got a stalled front somewhere in here, and then these little buckles along it are going to be areas of low pressure that will track in this general direction. Now, what's interesting is little sh uh, subtle shifts in that front or the low pressure track could d basically impact how much rain makes it back to the Charlotte area. But I'm in particular talking about folks along I-95 and towards the coast. So we'll go through today. Today's not bad. Actually, Monday's probably the driest day. Uh, until the weekend but then we get into tonight and tomorrow you can see one of those waves of low pressure moving through and again some pockets of very heavy rain we're likely going to wake up to a pretty soggy tuesday with all this rain and cloud cover we might only be in the 70s for highs tomorrow that rain pushes out if there's a if there's a washout kind of day along the coast it's probably going to be tuesday now wednesday it looks like there could be a lull and then another wave forms and moves in but notice the the gradient we call it right along the coast but back towards the west there might be a lot less so depending on this shifts this way or shifts this way the heavy rain could set up just offshore or on the coast so i'm talking to people on beach vacations this week if you want to do indoor plans think tuesday wednesday probably should have backup plans because those look pretty wet as we go towards the later part of the week looks like some breaks develop and that front begins to kind of push off to the east and you can see by the weekend you know it's more scattered so if you're looking at for the heaviest rain, it's going to be Tuesday and Wednesday. It's really when this stuff is over. So now, I'm going to turn this off real quickly, and I'm going to show you uh, what's going on with the rainfall because we've got the potential of some really heavy rainfall the next couple of days uh, along the coast. And I'm going to show you that what we call the flash flood guidance. So the green is the low risk. Uh, the yellow is kind of the medium risk. This is today. I'm going to go into tomorrow. You could see most of eastern North Carolina kind of in that medium risk for flash flooding. Again, this is not severe weather. This is flash flooding. Uh, this is for Tuesday. Let me go to Wednesday and you can see that same area. So Tuesday, Wednesday is really the two days that we're watching for um, some of the heaviest amounts. Now I'm going to go three day QPF we call it. Again, you could see this is the three day. Let me go out five days. We're going to go out all five days here and kind of display it. So you could see some of these totals. Now it might be hard to tell but these areas right in here are around 10 inches. This is around nine inches, eight, seven, six, three, two, one. So the gradient from east to west is pretty, pretty impressive. So that the heaviest rain over the next couple of days looks to be on the North Carolina beaches, but just offshore of South Carolina. 
So certainly the potential, we're going to see some flash flooding in those parts. And again, I'll go back to this graphic because I think it shows it a little better. You could see those amounts, 10 inches in purple, eight to nine inches in the light purple, browns about five, and then to get back towards the Charlotte, much lower amount. So this is the area I'll be watching over the next couple of days. So be ready on the coast. Flash flooding looks to be a big risk from Tuesday to Wednesday, but improving weather for the weekend. Before I go, I wanted to show you the temperatures this week across the Charlotte area. So just to give you an idea of the, the blend of all the guidance showing the cool down for the middle of the week, look at these temperatures in the 70s. Now that's gonna be rain and clouds helping us out there as well, but the air mass is cooler. By the end of the week, the temperatures start ramping up and we'll be back into the 90s by the end of the weekend. Have a great Monday. Of course, I'll post updates throughout the week. If you're at the beach, uh, enjoy today. Be ready for some rain Tuesday, Wednesday, better weather by the end of the week.